Hey, what is up guys, Colossnex here, and today I want to talk about the YouTube Rewind 2018. Now that I've been YouTubing for a few years, I kind of feel like I can weigh in with an opinion here. Not that I can weigh in on the subscriber count, but just something I want to talk about. Okay, so this rerun starts with uh, Will Smith leaning over a balcony. This is kind of a reference to some huge bungee jump that he did over the Grand Canyon. And um, you know what? I love Will Smith. If you know me, you know that I love Will Smith. I grew up watching Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I love Will Smith movies. He was He's actually a, a motivational guy for me. But um, he shouldn't have been in this because it's, it's kind of not fair if you're already a movie celebrity and then you just start kind of vlogging and then you have a YouTube channel where you do vlogs. It's not the same. Like you, I don't know how you can call yourself a YouTuber. You already start off at a million subscribers before you even start putting out content. You know, so should, is he a part of YouTube culture? I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think celebrities who just jump into the YouTube scene should be given a gold star and put on the face of YouTube Rewind. I love Will Smith, but he shouldn't have been in here. Yeah, it's Rewind time. You know, if I control Rewind, I would want Fortnite and Marquez Brownlee. <laughs> yeah, Will Smith, you want Fortnite. You think that Will Smith plays Fortnite or YouTube handed him a big check and say, Hey, we need someone to talk about Fortnite, so you know it, it's it's approved by the community. Because if we just throw Fortnite in, people might cringe. But if Will Smith says it, then it's then it's cool, then it's hip, you know. Because Will Smith's into Fortnite, then you know that's kind of our pass to make our whole freaking rewind Fortnite theme. Is this what you wanted? You know who I would have asked for? So we get to the inside of the battle bus, and I don't know who any of these people are. I mean, I like to think that I'm pretty like. You know, up to date with YouTube culture and who's popular, and I check in on the trending feed now and then. But uh, maybe I'm, you know what? Maybe I'm not totally with YouTube culture. But I do not know who a single person is on this bus, and they're the first YouTubers you see. So, oof, I don't know. I don't know who any of them are. Is this what you wanted? You know who I would have asked for? Quit horsing around. Yeah, it's Ninja. Okay. You know, I'm a, I play Fortnite. I'm, I play occasionally. You know, I may have a solo win or two. And you know what? I do enjoy Ninja videos. He's a Twitch streamer. He just kind of puts stuff on YouTube because he knows people watch his YouTube. So, you know, is he should should he be one of the faces of YouTube? I don't think so. Leave it a thank you. Is this Marcus? These two people at the shopping cart, I don't have a clue who they are. They both uh, they both have blue hair and they've got a shopping cart, another Fortnite reference. I should know who they are, I guess. I don't. We control Rewind this year. Y'all, we can do whatever we want. Who, sorry, who is that? Don't know who you are, don't know who you are. Nope. There's one thing this oh, video yep, needs. Oh, yep, that's Casey Neistat. Okay, yeah. <laughs> they just sprinkle Casey Neistat in here just to, I think, please the people who actually go on to YouTube. They're like, hey, we put him in. We put him in again. You guys can't complain. Casey's here. One of the only people who's qualified to be in this video. And Casey Neistat wants K-pop. Do we want K-pop? Do we want K-pop in our YouTube Rewind 2018? I don't remember K-pop being an explosive thing that blew up this year. I know it's becoming popular, but I don't, if that's what Casey Neistat wants. <laughs> Sorry, you know that they flew him out there and like they're like, okay, we want you to be in YouTube Rewind. You agreed to help us. You, you're gonna, your part, your involvement in this year, you're gonna say that I want K-pop. And that's it, so. I uh, hope you enjoy dancing K-pop. Don't know who these people are either. Okay, so whoever this YouTuber is is getting married to Bongo Cat, one of the the low tier memes this year. Of all the you know of all the memes they were gonna go with, I guess they went with Bongo Cat. I mean, I don't know what makes Bongo Cat more special than any other meme that happened this year, but okay, whatever you. Instead of putting in some popular YouTuber that everyone likes, you're going to put in an animation of Bongo Cat. 
Rewind needs more science. Could we do an experiment? Love that. Melting lipsticks. I'm assuming they're science YouTubers because they don't know who they are. And they're crazy science experiment. Melting lipstick. That's... <laughs> you don't... These are scientists? They're melting lipstick. This seems like something that is clickbait to a six-year-old girl. Hmm, what would this look like if we melted this this lipstick? There's as much science as this, is that guy who used to just throw things in a blender and say, will it blend? Hmm, this Yeti microphone tosses it in the blender. <laughs> That's about as much science that is going into melting lipsticks and a li lipstick and a giant cold. Okay, Okay, don't know who they are. Don't know what mukbang is. I guess it's popular. Ooh. Korean food and Cardi B. Let's go. Gallop, what do you want? Who is this dog? They're all catering to this dog. Everyone's pumped. Must be a super popular thing. I don't know who any of these people are. I don't know who this dog is. I guess it's just a funny may may. Marshmallow needs to be in this video. Who is Marshmallow? How about Yodeling Kid? They say Marshmallow needs to be in this video. Okay, he's a popular music artist of the past year. Is he a YouTuber? No. Are they gonna put him in the video? Yes, but only for one second. That was it. How about Yodeling Kid? Without a ripper. Oh, you did not just do Marshmallow dirty like that. So Marshmallow was in there for a second, removed it, and then we got Yodeling Kit, another meme. It's not a YouTuber. I guess they just kind of pull from popular culture in the past year. But again, he's not a YouTuber. And he was way more popular than he should have been. But here he is in YouTube Rewind. Still no sign of PewDiePie, I'd like to add. So let's, first of all, I'm going to say it's super cool that they have animators in here. Because animators are a big part of YouTube. I watch tons of YouTube animators. Like, they're definitely a massive part of YouTube and they're getting more popular. So it's nice that they're getting a bit of spotlight. I don't know who any of these <laughs> any of these animators are. Maybe I'm just, you know, out of the loop here. But uh, none of the animators that I watch and that I know are very popular on YouTube. But their humor is maybe a little more controversial or they maybe um, have sworn at some point in the past year did not make it into this video. So, so this is a show host doing uh, a topical Fortnite dance. And uh, is he a YouTuber? I don't, I don't know. Maybe he is, but they're starting to include talk show hosts in YouTube because, like YouTube, they splice up the highlights and they put them on YouTube. So now YouTube is featuring them in the YouTube Rewind. They're not really YouTubers. They just kind of do well in the format, so they're getting some attention. Yep, yep. That's PewDiePie reference. That's PewDiePie chair. Okay, so there's, this is the first sign. This is the first sign. Of this animated chair falling over. Is the first sign we see of the most popular YouTuber that they're most likely not going to include in this video. Shout out to PewDiePie's chair, animated style. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You know who really needs to be in this rewind video? PewDiePie. Everyone who managed to do something bigger than themselves this year. Who found a way to help the causes that matter. Oh, they're gonna make this YouTube video about this. They're gonna try and make it politically correct. And uh, it looks good politically for YouTube to say, we're talking about mental health. Look, look at all of us. Look, we're all so great. We're talking about all these issues. So YouTube is kind of trying to shine itself in a good light rather than, you know, throwing back to the past year and all the amazing things and strides YouTubers have made, like Shane Dawson, you know, people who are opening new doors onto YouTube, but instead they're trying to like paint themselves in this nice light. So while it's a good message and it's hard to argue, it shouldn't be in this video. It takes a lot of bravery to be that vulnerable, and I'm so proud of this community. I'm sorry. I have to critique her. It doesn't take any bravery to be vulnerable. You're either vulnerable or you're not. It's what you do in that state of vulnerability that makes you brave. You are not just brave because you were vulnerable. I think this year's Rewind should celebrate the fierce, fabulous, and empowering art of drag. <laughs> really? Is that what you think? This year YouTube should celebrate drag? Why? I want to see all of you be your own kind of beautiful. We're all, yes, we are all beautiful. Is, is that a YouTube channel? Is that... Can we also give a moment to Asian representation in entertainment this year? Major strides were made. Do we have to give a moment to Asian representation? 
or can we just appreciate everybody's content equally? And to the people who put aside their differences. Yeah, and created something really special. You know who didn't put aside their differences this year? Logan Paul and KSI and Jake Paul and Deji that, that created one of the, the biggest, most monumental steps in YouTube's history by having a live fight that has never been done before on YouTube. Don't see that in here anywhere. Here's to all women in 2018 finding their voices. That's great for women, but why is this in the YouTube Rewind? Can we give a moment to working moms? <laughs> no, we cannot give a moment to working moms. This is not the time or the place. We appreciate and respect working moms every day of the year, all the time. Everyone respects working moms. Do we need to give a place in the YouTube Rewind to appreciate working moms? Not the place. This is, we're already over halfway through this video. We have barely seen any popular YouTubers, and we're getting a moment here from moms. It's just not the place. I'm sorry. Okay, so now we're talking about refugees. It's just this video is just so political. It just makes me sick. Like, actually, uh, after they said the comment about, can we give a sh shout out to moms? I hit the dislike, and I almost left the video. I was actually going to hit dislike before I started watching the video, but I tried to give it a fair shot. Um, at this point, it's just like... They're just talking politics right now, and they're just trying to make themselves look good. It's really disappointing because this is the state that YouTube has come to. Um, there hasn't been a good YouTube rewind, in my opinion, in years. So I feel like this is just a steady descent here. We're forgetting something. Yes, you are forgetting the biggest YouTuber and the biggest YouTube drama this year. PewDiePie vs. T-Series. PewDiePie vs. T-Series. Maybe we'll see that. Or maybe we'll see H3H3, the channel that's bringing all of YouTube's popular celebrities into one place and hosting podcasts and or to any other YouTuber that we haven't seen this year that should be in this montage. I think we should read the comments. Okay, reading the comments, throwing wood on the fire. Cool, so maybe they're gonna read some controversial comments or they're gonna read some, uh, some funny comments or they're gonna read, um, I don't know, let's see. Let's give the people what they want. They're gonna give us what we want now, okay? Are you ready? This is what the people want, is a Kanye West reference. Kanye West music video. Kanye West is not a YouTuber. Just because the video's on YouTube doesn't mean it should be in the YouTube Rewind. ASMR, that actually makes sense because ASMR was really big this year on YouTube. They're just beating that Fortnite horse to death here. Okay, so they're gonna, they're, they've decided to make part of the YouTube Rewind shout out the Baby Shark, the child song that became popular. I think mostly in meme culture, and, and that's what they're putting in the YouTube Rewind. They just, just, they just kind of pick like a couple memes from the past year that were big, but also politically safe. They can show this and not offend anybody, so this is the one they went with. Good pick, guys. Good pick, guys. Okay, and the rest of this video is just um, them reusing some of the clips from, you know, all these YouTubers that nobody knows dancing and, uh, and, and stuff like that. So I'm going to probably stop the video here. I don't like this. I think this video sucked. I think the last video also sucked. And I am really disappointed that they don't put in any of the biggest YouTubers that everybody knows and loves because they've put out content in the past year that has been controversial. And everybody agrees, you know, you read the comment section. And if you, if you can find a comment that's not about PewDiePie, uh, it's people complaining about how YouTube is so disconnected with its its viewers. So it's it's a little bit disappointing that YouTube is, I don't know, as it becomes more like this corporation and they're trying to be safe and they don't want to ever make any kind of mistake or whatever, it's just becoming more of like a business and less of like a community of, of people, you know, putting out content, celebrating that together. And every time YouTube does this, every year annually, it kind of slaps its viewers in the head and just tries to make itself look nice for advertisers, to let advertisers come on and only advertise the videos that fit the guidelines of what is deemed worth money. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a little bit of, of, a, of a cynic, but I think that this <laughs> deserved some harsh criticism because it was not good, you know, and with 4.7 million dislikes, you know, that's the majority. People people just don't like it. So we'll see. It's just weird to watch a, a YouTube rewind and just not see. Obviously, like Smosh broke up, but Smosh is not in it. Nigahiga was not in this. It's just a lot of big YouTubers just aren't in this anymore. They're kind of... I just don't even recognize the most popular YouTubers anymore. It's just a little bit weird. 
Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Claw Sex out. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot.